Hey there guys, and this is a... this is a game! Okay, so... This is a game called Bloodlust Shadowhunter, I believe that's the full title, by William R. Fisher Studios, I believe that's what they're called. So basically they've been doing an indie game for a while, and I actually got a message from... I, I don't know if it was someone from, from there or what, but uh, they were basically asking me to basically just play through it maybe and record a bit and give my thoughts on it and I was like, eh, well never, no one's ever asked me to do anything like that so why not? I mean there's nothing really to lose from it. I played a bit of it already and it's actually quite good. Um, it's sort of a vampire hardcore RPG, or at least it seems pretty hardcore. But you can die very easily, though not really from... not really from enemies. The enemies are okay for the most part. I only played like 40 minutes of it. And I'll probably just play through the first 30 or something uh, today, and but at least for now. Uh, this is a beta, and you will be able to download it if you go to the uh, description, I'll post the link there. So you can uh, change your resolution and stuff, tutorial mode I want to keep on, because it's actually quite hard to figure some of the things out. I don't really know what's up with the options, it's not really, I don't know. It's not really typical of an option thing, I would normally expect these to be drop downs, but I don't know. It's fine anyway, I managed to get it working I think on the highest settings, or m mostly. But uh, yeah, so let's go to new game. Alright, so you get uh, a character, I'm just going to put in the name already, my name. Um, right, so you get a character and you can rotate them, um, obviously. Uh, so you... Basically, there's two races to pick from, or breeds, they call them. You can be a straight-up vampire, or you can be a dampier, which is basically half-human. So I think the dampiers, are basically, they don't need to drink blood as often, but uh, they will... they aren't as strong, apparently. I played as both, I didn't really notice too much of a difference, so I don't know how true that is. Uh, these guys have some resistances, but uh, vampires are actually very... Um, I think they, they might take damage in light, so, you know, there are two different playstyles, I guess. Uh, but these guys will have to eat more often, and apparently they're, they've got better stats. Uh, so there's also three classes, and you can go female if you want to. There's, uh, yeah, so there's three classes. Uh, you can see that it has different reputation, and it gives you different um, attribute points. Now, the witch is the... Um, the mage class, there was obviously the fighter there. <coughs> Sorry, I'm getting a cough there. Alright, so there's also the thief, though they call this the criminal. Well, it's basically a thief, I think. I think they... Well, actually, anyone can really disarm, I think. So you basically have the warrior, the mage, and the thief, more or less. Um, so let's go with the mage, because I have not been them yet. Alright, so you get five stats to... Um, put in right now you can see I'm already regenerating life which is kind of strange but whatever so strength is weapon damage dex is uh, hit and lock picks so that doesn't sound, seem too bad all right charisma is actually magic which kind of threw me off uh, at the start there I thought intelligence would be but yes this is actually magic uh, vitality is obviously your health which is important uh, this is for hacking and stuff and also talent points, so this is kind of a weird stat, intelligence and persuasion. I'm going to put one in at persuasion, four into vitality to begin with. And that's pretty good, honestly. I actually, I'll, I'll put one into charisma. So yeah, we'll go the witch then, and I believe there is a cutscene here, so I'm just going to let you guys see that, and I'll see you when we actually get into the game.
wake up, fledgling. The early evening's dusk fades from view as a new moon rises. Your memory is probably very weak since it's been many years of deep slumber from the embrace. But with each new bloodline, you will grow stronger. Meet me at the tattoo shop back in town. I will explain everything there. I've asked Varric to watch over you through these long years. Seek him out should you need any guidance from the ruins. All right. So basically, it's asking me if I want to go in tutorial mode here. So I do want the tilt tips actually. They are quite important for the start. All right. So this is the game. Uh, I should have mentioned already that it is actually an indie game, and you probably saw from the credits there. I don't believe that many people made it, so it is quite impressive because mostly indie games try to stay to uh, kind of 2D and uh, kind of. Uh, you know, 2D sort of retro graphics and stuff, but this is pretty, um, you can also change the font size. Um, this is pretty, I don't know, it's, uh, it's 3D and it's fully explorable and stuff. It's pretty pretty cool for an indie game. Alright, so I should explain what I, I need to do here. Alright, so Thirst, it slowly goes down from what I can see whenever you're a vampire. Um, I think the other breed does go down slower, but... Uh, yeah, I think my stats are a little bit higher. My health is pretty high, honestly. And there is also... Um, I've also got to use this key in order to get through stuff. Alright. So basically, you can get an extra spell. Oh man, summon spiders? I mean, come on. Everyone has to get a bit of summon spiders in. Alright. So you also have these talent things, which uh, they actually increase randomly depending on if you proc your um, intelligence chance. So I've got a 10% chance, so I believe that means that I, every time I level up I might get one of these points. They're not that important, honestly, because they don't, they don't do that much. I mean, that one gives you plus one strength per level, which is alright. But most of them, the experience one might be useful. But you have to get up to them as well. Um, right, I don't have any more skill points. And my inventory, I have five gold pieces, a dagger, and a or a knife, uh, a and a, a flashlight. Also, the flashlight runs out, so I for I actually didn't know that. I had my flashlight completely going the last time. So let's turn it off. All right, so I believe I just go up here, and it's talking about mouse modes. Uh, I'll prefer to stick with this one so I can just point on stuff, but the other one allows you to kind of just scroll around and uh, look. So I'm just going to go with this and use the right mouse button. Alright, so there is this guy here, and uh, one thing you will notice is without the flashlight, the game is very dark. So, um, is there a brightness setting? There is a brightness level, okay. Uh, we're going to set that up to like, f okay, that might be a. Wait, what was that said there? everything washed out. Well, you know, I don't know. I'll put it to 40. And uh, resume. So you're meant to have the flashlight, really. Um, but obviously it appears the battery runs out. So let's have a conversation with this nice looking guy here. Welcome, Fletchley. How was your sleep? I'll just keep the flashlight on. My name is Badok. I am the caretaker here in the ruins. I can see you are a little confused, no? Quite normal in these circumstances. Side effects from the bite, perhaps? Find the statue of the ancients. The spirit will guide your path to the exit of this dark place. Also see Sarah. She is the only trader here. Yeah. Alright, so basically you get quests and you can look at them on your map and there are these little uh, X's here, basically. I'm checking my flashlight now. I don't know if the battery sticks, because it honestly did, I don't think it ran out that much uh, last time. So, you know, um, you can also put up an overlay. I would like to be able to um, have it in the corner, I don't know if you can really. But uh, the tutorial is going to tell us what to do here. Basically, you can uh, actually bite people and it will drain them for blood. And it will also give you allies, believe it or not. Um, basically, they become vampires that follow you about. Uh, as you can see, this guy is currently just sleeping. But um, 
you can you can like say come here and he will spawn to you and then you can say attack and protect the thing is that I don't know that AI system is kind of clunky I think I think they could change it into more I don't know command based or something so I think we're gonna fight our first enemy here and it's gonna be some spiders yeah there it is and oh man somehow I hit that I don't know my deck sucks I don't even know oh geez there's still another one all right Okay, so there is a right. You can right click to control, but it just brings you to the screen. I would like to see something like actually command wise or something. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm asking for, but it is a little clunky. So you can actually run. You do have a stamina bar, and you do have a health bar and a life force bar. And I, I believe I want to break this wall. Ghost effects flashlight. Yeah, you are a ghost. So that is my uh, main attack there, is basically the fire thing, but uh, I can also summon spiders, which is always nice. And, yep, there we go. You drop something. What is it? Diamond, huh? Oh, gem, okay. The root, the, the root, the loot is the random, wow, I really, I really just messed up there. Alright, the loot is random and it's, uh, it gives stats, it's very similar to stuff like Diablo, in fact the map kind of reminds me of Diablo as well. And since I'm a big fan of Diablo, you know, I do like this map, but I wish it could be in the corner, honestly. Can you hear me? Don't be alarmed. Telepathy is another of the fledgling skills. The blood fragments are from the hardened hearts of fallen vampires. So, yeah, uh, the voice acting is hit or miss, but I'm, go I'm gonna forgive them in this case because it probably is just uh, them doing their own voices, so I, I don't really expect that much, especially when it is an indie game. Uh, so, yeah, you yeah. uh, know. Also, the fact, the concept for this game is pretty interesting. I haven't really seen any other vampire games, honestly. And yes, this is a loading screen here, but it doesn't take that long. Alright, so you can talk to this guy who's similar looking to the the guy that I have as my uh now the problem is they don't actually come through um look for new blood like they 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 will go through commands but I don't believe they follow us so like if I go come here and then they 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 just basically teleport here and then I go look for new blood or something maybe they can find someone that can also be my ally I'm just going to talk to this person now. You must be the new fledgling, huh? Brock mentioned you, but don't get any ideas about trading here. This is not some local grocery store, you know. This trade shop is set up strictly for excavators of the ruins through an agreement with my group's leader. However, I am in need of some wolf fur. I probably shouldn't, but if you can find some fur, I might make an exception for you. Thank you. You can find a few blood wolves in the courtyard area. Come back when you have found some wolf fur, huh? Alright, so I think I can actually, if you actually get a persuade uh, to, to 10, I believe you actually get a persuade option there, but my persuade was too low, I believe. So you get a journal and stuff, um, menu, map, pretty, pretty standard stuff here. I'm going to go back to the other area, because that is where we need to go. And enemies do seem to respawn, from what I can see. Alright. I don't think I have anything else apart from this, uh... This sort of beam here. And my spiders do not want to attack. Go for the shins! Yeah! And I have gained a level. What did I get? Rusty dagger, okay. Alright, come over here. Right, so, I don't think this will be pretty, I think that will be pretty bad. Attack 3 to 7. It's, it's, it's about the same anyway. Alright, so I can get her a skill so I could get Mist Morph. Why not? 
or I can actually um, put more points in th this stuff. So you need more reputation with the clans. Oh, okay. That's an interesting way to level up skills, I guess. I assume one of these is the disarm and sort of trap guys as well. Uh, you can scroll up and scroll down. Okay, so it's saying you might want to get this, but this basically is an invisibility thing, I think. Uh, well, I saw it in one of the trailers, I believe, and uh, it didn't look that useful because it kind of just turned you invisible and it <laughs> doesn't really do much else. I'm just going to put another point into summon spiders because, I mean, come on. It's spiders. And uh, you can put more points in where you want. Uh, my thirst is going down. I haven't. I don't actually know what happens when you get it all the way down, but I don't really want to know. Probably. Okay, let's go. Can I open this stuff? No, they just explode on me. All right. Your life seems to regenerate. I don't know if that's just this area or what. And you can sense like enemies nearby, which is kind of strange. But uh, whatever. I'll take it. I'm gonna get some spiders out here. Oh, do I need to hold it down? Not enough life force. Okay, that's why. How much do you need? Oh, Jesus. 27. There we go. Spiders. Attack spiders! There we go. Alright, that's what the numbers that pop up are. Okay, so I got that. Get more wolf fur. Oh, Jesus. Attack bomb. <laughs> I have to admit it's entertaining if nothing else, but the AI obviously is. Since uh, since I am sort of a, it's it's a aspiring programmer myself. I do I, I am a, in a computing science class. AI is probably the most the most annoying thing to program, but uh, you know, so I can't really blame them for that, but I think they really could improve uh, the sort of AI interface. Unless I'm missing something, that could be very well the case that I am just missing something and it's actually a better way to do it. Um, maybe the controls? Uh, yeah, the controls are here, okay. Swap weapons. You can swap weapons, I believe you can carry only two, but that's fine. And there is a quick save, alright, let's F1. Okay, I don't really see anything there, so I don't know. Alright, uh, I think I need to talk to this guy. Hey, look. Sleeping Beauty is finally awake. That was your nap. No, not really. But it did right, see you. I'm oh, gonna man. skip some of these. You must have been oh, I'm just waiting for those wolves to go away. One of them tore up my leg pretty bad. Man, once they lock on, they just don't let up. I even lost the full bag of blood jewels while trying to escape those creatures. Which reminds me, if you happen to find a bag of jewels, how about bringing it back here, huh? Uh, sure. Take it. It's probably a track. Alright, so I believe that actually, yeah, it does give you a uh, stop back. Alright, so yeah, you just kind of walk around, get quests, find people randomly. Uh, right, so this one has a zombie. I'm going to have to take him out. Where is he? There he is. I think I completely messed with that, which is quite pathetic. I don't... Is there a way to make it? Oh, Jesus. What happened to him, man? Okay, there was another one. God damn it. And another one. I think they they might spawn... Ev so many times, and then eventually they'll let you through. I just wanted to pick that up. Okay, so we need to go up here. Big knife. I do not have 20 strength, though. So. Alright. Oh yeah, I remember this part. There is a secret area. Oh, there's a leech. Can I actually hit him from here? Okay. Can I just... No. It doesn't look like it. Alright. I think I need to jump up here and yeah, that jump and disarm this. And of course you fail because my disarm s arm uh, spell sucks. But you do get a blood ring and I don't know what this actually does. The jewel bag. But I just gave it back to the guy. So you can actually double tap to do some uh, acrobatics I guess. Alright. 
Oh man, I leveled up from a leech, and I also got a talent point. I don't know if you always get talent points, because I think I got one the, the second time last time as well. But they're they're not very big bonuses from what I can see. They're like uh, the extra inventory, increased run speed. I'll take the stamina regen one just because I don't know. And um, we will take the invisibility. Why not? And also the stats. Is it five stats per level. Yeah, it seems to be. So I could put five into strength. I'll put five into strength so I can get that uh, big knife out. Should be a little better. It's not that big. Well, I guess I was expecting a sword. Right, if you do this, you'll actually get some bonus stuff here. I'll get rid of that. Alright, so that should give me some other stuff. Though I'm still going to fail this... Uh... Oh no, it actually wasn't locked. I just need to put this hammer on now. Okay, I got a hammer now, which is nice. Uh... Should do a lot more damage, but it is pretty slow. Yeah, yeah, get out of here. Do we have another one? Yeah, it, it's nice that it, it, you can actually sense the enemies as well, and it basically tells you if you go over them, which is pretty good. Alright, so we're going back to this guy. Alright, there's my flashlight going down a bit. Have you found my bag yet? Thanks. Since you helped me out, I guess I could teach you secret sight. It's a skill that helped me find a few fragments, and it might help you find whatever you're looking for, too. There you go. Give that a try. In fact, I think there's a secret wall over there behind me. So the, the actual ability to see secret walls is just a spell, basically, and this guy gives you it for free. And uh, you can basically just use that there. And basically, the, this puzzle here is pretty simple. It just wants you to do the exact same thing, and everyone gets this skill. I believe I haven't tried the warrior yet, but um, basically, I, I think you can just use that to trigger levers, like yeah, like that. You might use it a few different ways. I haven't really ran into them yet, but yeah. All right, so I'm gonna make a save here because this next point, I'm going to purposely die. You will die in one hit from traps. This is really the only thing that really kills you at the start. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing, of course. Alright, I need to open this again. So, yeah, it's, um... <laughs> the traps seem to be, like, the hardest part, because the enemies aren't that bad, honestly. So I'm just going to jump over here, and... I think that I just closed the door. Thankfully, your guy does not actually toggle them. I got leather pants. Let's put them on. And I got a big... No, I already had that. Light resistance. I got a top hat last time. That looks ridiculous. Alright. Alright, so let's jump. Oh, shit. Oh, man. That was close. Alright, so, uh... Yeah, let's get the door open again and go back. Alright, so... Yeah, I almost died there. Let's, let's have a look at the goggles and how bad they probably look. Yeah, they look amazing. I got a top hat the last time, which I was pretty happy with. Now, yeah, I don't know, this game is pretty good. I don't know, I, I don't know, I, I, I'd never heard of it before, obviously. But uh, this guy did say, you know, you give it a shot and uh, post a video on it if you want to. And I'm like, yeah, why not? May as well, right? And I've got to give this back. So it seems very quest-oriented. Did you find some blood wolf fur? If the quality is okay, perhaps we can... You sort of helped me out. I suppose I could let you shop in my store if you want. Alright, you can sell various things. Uh, it doesn't seem like you get much gold here at the start, but obviously this is a beta and I didn't really get that far, honestly, so I don't really know. Uh, I'm basically selling everything. Diamond gives you 12. I think I got pretty lucky with that because I never saw that before. I don't think I have enough for the top hat, which makes me very sad inside. A wooden stake. Okay, that's for a crossbow. For the thief, basically. A thief starts with the crossbow and a knife, which is interesting. Uh, wasn't there a... Is there armor here? Looks like there's no armor. Unless I'm selecting these things wrong. I don't know. Alright, well, that's fine then. Necklace gives resistance. Okay. So light and fire seem to be Goodbye. your main uh, problems here. 
But uh, I'm not gonna play it for that much hey, longer. Where did you come from? Did Sarah send you to check on me? I'm just kind of going through She's the a star. For some of the excavators, she sent me to find. He's another excavator, probably looking for blood fragments and or whatever else. So persuasion does again. fail, but find anything interesting? She set up a tent. He's another. I, I don't. She yeah, you can only do it once, so <laughs> it's not like Neverwinter Nights, man. That game just lets you do persuasion until you win. Sometimes. <laughs> All right, so. Sometimes these chests are a little hard to see, but, you know, it makes sense. Um, it, it's nice that it does tell you how, mo how like, uh, more or less damage you're going to be doing. Like, I could put the cleaver in the second hand here and, here and uh, swap between them with Q. And you can also get more defense from certain uh, types. And that is a uh, vampire, I believe. That is a vampire, yes. All right, uh, what are right. you doing that way? I thought I knew later. And then he just runs away. All right. Get here. Oh, nah. Travel into ruins, I bet you are. Where is he? Sometimes it just they they just don't bother coming over at you. I, I don't really know what it is. I don't know. All right, so I'm currently using a uh, a hammer to smash these spiders, which seems to be pretty effective, honestly. But yeah, I don't really know what this dot is. What is that? Is that my spider or is that my guy trying to get in? No, it's my spider. Okay, I think I don't even know. Get the hell over here. Right, there you go. Okay, so sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I kind of realize why. But, uh, can I get through this door? Oh yeah, I remember this part. Th I thought this guy was an enemy. I started throwing fucking fireballs at him because I was, like, freaked out. But no, you can actually talk to him. Go talk with the statue of the ancients. He is behind the gate where you first found me. Find or purchase a key from Santa. You can also use. Alright, so I, I didn't actually know you could use the invisible through there. But we can get through here. Uh, if you only have a knife. Oh, that is a dark zombie there. <laughs> Sorry, tutorial hint. I already know what to do. If you use a knife, you can't actually open that door at all. I fucking miss completely. Oh, that's no. Be turned to stone. Um, alright, can I just kind of hit him now? I think dex affects your uh, ability to hit. So... Can I actually damage these guys? Alright, I'm just gonna go past these guys, I guess. Kind of a strange thing, but alright. Uh, yeah, so I believe I know that's not how you do it. Oh man, I'm gonna hear that a bunch. Alright. So I believe... Yeah, I hit this. Yeah, yeah, we get it, dude. Uh, that is the wrong one. <laughs> well, it's not my fault. But I don't really know why he does that. Okay, I got some. Oh man. Alright, um. <laughs> oh, I can't get back out, really. Not till I get another thing. All right, so one of one of the things is the fact that this does it basically does keep the audio in from whenever you're you're basically uh, doing other stuff. So that's kind of the reason why it always plays over stuff, which can be a bit of a problem as we're seeing here. All right, so maybe I can actually kill these guys, and I just didn't do it well enough. I can fucking hit the head guy, but not do. Oh, I did some damage. To the guy. Get out of my goddamn way. 
Oh, oh I actually killed them, alright. Okay. So I think I just needed to hit them, I was just doing it wrong. Okay. I'm an idiot, that's all we need to know. Of course. Oh, Vampire Golem. Yeah, I remember th just being like, what the shit for this guy. Um, so I don't really know where my guy is. Come right here now and protect. Alright, let's do that. Alright, so let's get some spiders out and let's get some fireballs out. So he does a lot of damage. I believe the vampire guy actually broke your breaks your weapon if you get close. So I basically I'm just gonna not take any chances with this guy and get a level up. So get an our journal thing, I don't know. And get a new level and five more. Now I don't really know where else you get blood from, honestly. Which is, yeah, kind of a problem. I don't really know where you get the uh, blood from. But we you can see we have a lot of things now. We can even get the sarm and stuff, bow skill. So it's going to open up. I just don't really know what I'm doing. Alright, let's get someone familiar in there. Oh man, I get a crow. Okay. So it, does, it definitely has a lot of cool things in it. I'm going to stop playing it about now. I'm basically go back to the title screen and tell you what I think. Uh, right, we're just going to go on this screen then. Um, so basically, you'll probably know if you want to play it from those first 30 minutes or so. It is in beta still, so make sure that you realize that it's not the final product, obviously. And they are give, they're basically just uh, giving you a demo here. Um, version 14.5b, apparently. Apparently, that's what it is. I don't really know if that's accurate. So, yeah, I'll put a link in the description, but from what I can see, it's a pretty enjoyable game. It's just they have a few problems with the, I don't know, the AI summons, or whatever you want to call them, the vampires that you bite. And I don't really know how to get thirst back, unless you run into, like, um, a lot of those, or if you run, or you just keep a bunch of, like, blood wine, I think was the thing. So yeah, the game is fun and everything, and I'm I'm willing to see how it uh, turns out. It just seems like it needs more polish, and obviously a lot of games need more polish. But uh, yeah, I, I I just don't really have that many problems with it, and it was pretty fun from all I played for, for it. I played I played 40 minutes, like I said. Uh, I don't really have that much time to play through all of it. I don't know how long it is, and I ha I don't really know if it's multiplayer. Uh, I don't actually know. It seems like it could be, but I'm not entirely sure. So, <laughs> sorry, I'm 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 just terrible at information here. But uh, check it out if you want to. And yeah, I would say it was pretty well done, honestly. And I'm I, I might play it when it eventually comes out, um, if I can keep up with it, because I'm terrible at keeping up with things. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and yeah, I'll see you next time.